All right, we're gonna go check out Highway Liquors, Monticello, Minnesota. Mictor's 10 year rye for 229. I don't know what the price on that normally is. Yeah, let me know in the comments what that normally goes for. I got a bottle of the regular chicken cock for like 30 bucks and it definitely wasn't even worth that. That's just not bad. Maker's cask strength. I gotta pick one of those up at some point here. Got the baby Saz for 40. I oh, just got a home wrecker of Woodford here. I don't know what the price is on that. A little expensive on the McKenna. Look at that B523 and A123 just sitting there. A few of them too. 90 bucks, that's about the going rate in Minnesota, unfortunately. Definitely cheaper than Total Wine sells it. Cedar Ridge. I'm looking for the cask strength version of that to send to a friend. So this one I keep hearing really good things about. I think I've only seen one person say anything negative about it, this one here, and that's about a regular price for that. I think that one's only available in like nine states and Minnesota's one of them. So that's pretty cool. I'll pick one of those up at some point. All right, next stop, we're gonna head over to uh Ramsey, we're gonna swing into Coburn's liquor. All right, fairly standard stuff. Overpriced Garrison Brothers. Um, not overpriced because of this store, just because Garrison Brothers is overpriced in general. Um, rare breed price is coming down a little bit on that. That's still a little bit high. You can get that cheaper at other places, but um, that is kind of average, I guess. Interested in the bullet single barrel after having that cask strength. That was really good. $30 for a home wrecker, the Evan Williams. That's awesome. Nice to see 1782 small batch back on the shelf. Tons of it. Maker's cask strength for 40 bucks. That's a good deal. That's a great bourbon. Let me know in the comments what you think of that one. Barrel stuff. Let's see, we got a store pick here. All the Penelope stuff. Pretty good average prices on those. Looks like the uh, Jack single barrel barrel proof is sold out. 
That's a pretty good price for the Bakers. That's been climbing up a little bit. That used to be a normal price for it, but now I think it's gotten a little bit more expensive. Look at that. All that Traveler price cut. I don't know if that's much of a price cut from its normal price, but I think the uh, bubble has burst on that one for sure. Look at this Booker's mother load, all the 2023 batches. And there's tons of them. Maybe the bubble has burst on that one too. All right, well that's it for the uh, bourbon hunting for this one. Didn't pick up any bottles. Um, wasn't really intending to pick up any bottles. Just wanted to stop in, see what was on the shelf. Let me know about that Micker's 10 year rye. That for me just wasn't in the budget. Um, I've got a bunch of other bottles I wanna review on the channel but uh, let me know if you've had that one before what you think of it and if it's worth 230 40 bucks whatever the price was anyway thank you very much for watching cheers